Chef Trey Bessor from Pearl and Ash. Thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure, man. How you doing? Excellent. What's on the menu for today? Crispy pork belly with garlic confit, parsley, and then these beautiful wild burgundy snails. These things are amazing. You're gonna love them. Awesome. First things first, we have this beautiful piece of pork belly, and I'm gonna need you to cure it. We have just salt, a little bit of sugar, and a bunch of spices in this curing mix that we use. Okay. It's going to give us flavor, and it's also going to help tenderize it. All right. Usually when we do this at the restaurant, we cure it for 24 hours, and then we braise it for about 12 hours. Cool it down, portion it, and then we cook it. Wow, a lot of time and effort that goes into this dish. Absolutely. Then we will just stash it away. Just like that in a refrigerator, even at home, like in my in my refrigerator, if I wanted to do that, I could do it. You don't need a special piece of- uh, Not cooking. at all, and you can just get a small piece from your butcher, cure it, put it in, and then you're good to go. And 12 hours, you said on that? 12 hours, yeah. 12 yep. hours. And then like I said, you'll rinse it off, and then we braise it for about 12 hours in chicken stock. We cool it down, and then we press it so it becomes nice and flat, and then this is the piece that we get. 36 hours later. 36 hours later, <laughs> we're to here. The order comes in and now we cook All it. All right, good, perfect. So it's very simple. We're basically gonna pan fry it. We're gonna use canola oil because we can get it a lot hotter. Like super hot or? Not or... super hot, no. We want it to be just hot enough where it won't stick. So we're getting that nice sizzle. You do gotta be careful because there is some moisture still in there so it can pop. Right. You know? Basically, we're gonna crisp this guy up. And you're gonna do all, all four sides, sides yeah. yeah. And then of course, you know, you knowing me, we're gonna dump some of this fat out, and what are we gonna add? <laughs> More fat. More fat, but <laughs> butter this time. <laughs> and pork belly is essentially the same thing as bacon, right? Yeah, it's the same cut of meat. So basically you're telling me we're just deep frying a giant chunk of bacon and then basting it in butter. Absolutely. <laughs> that is 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the point now where it's getting crisp. So we're gonna get rid of some of this oil. Okay. And now we're just gonna add our butter. So we got that, now we're gonna add some thyme. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, I do. The butter is releasing all of these oils in this thyme. So we're getting the flavor of the thyme that's now going inside that crispy pork belly. It smells great, right? It smells amazing. And that's it, so the pork belly's ready. So now we're just gonna set it over here and let it drain. And now we're gonna glaze up some snails. And guess what? With fat. More butter. <laughs> More butter, obviously, right? <laughs> so these snails, they're very, very beautiful. So nice, they're wild burgundy snails. We're gonna start with some white wine. So we're gonna add these snails. Excellent. These little baby guys. Parsley butter. Okay. <laughs> you thought it was something healthy, didn't you? No, for a minute I thought it was like, I don't know, guacamole <laughs> or yeah, something. No, I mean, there's a vegetable green, in green there. Yeah, 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 parsley. Parsley, yeah. parsley counts. <laughs> And now we have some garlic confit puree. We're gonna add some lemon juice to this. A little acid. Just a little acid, because we have all of that fat, so we want something to cut through it. Some salt, a little pepper. Now how, snails, are? There, is it something easy to purchase for like home cooking? They can snails, correct? They do, most of them are canned. So you shouldn't be afraid of the fact that they're canned. It's, Not at all. Yeah. We just rinse them off. You can get them online. You can get them at any like specialty store as well. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's really nice. So there we go, we got these nice and glazed. Now we're gonna add that same garlic confit, but these are the whole cloves. And that's it, man. Now we can uh, start plating it. All right. I'm gonna get some wine open if uh, yeah, that, that works. Great. Yeah, that's right, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna open something French for us, but more specifically Burgundy. I thought Burgundy that, it snails. It makes sense. It makes sense. Burgundy wine. I'm not so gonna be upset. Good. All right. So this is a really awesome producer in Burgundy named Dominique Lafon, and uh, you know his family's estate is in Merceau, and he's really one of the most highly regarded and kind of sought after producers in that area. But this is just a simple wine that he makes called Bourgogne, which is really kind of geared to be a value-oriented wine. It's usually made from vineyards that they work with outside of the village that they're in, so maybe, you know, just off the highway kind of vineyards. Sure. <laughs> but they're not vineyards, I think, that make wines for extraordinarily long aging, but they're great wines to drink when they're young and great wines to have with food. 100% Chardonnay when it comes to white wine from Burgundy. There are a few really rare exceptions, but for the most part, you, you can count on it being Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. So if it says Bourgogne and it's, and it's white in color, you know it's a Chardonnay. If it oh, says Bourgogne sense. and it's red, it's gonna be Pinot Noir. Those are the two grapes. I think it has like that classic smell of, of, of Chardonnay. There's like, a, it's a little, has kind of that tropical aromatic sure, There's a little yeah. like pineapple there and, and uh, maybe some pear, like ripe pear, but 
This having snails with it, I think that that makes it a, a great pairing. All right, so here we have the plate. Now we're just gonna garnish it with a few things. We just have some breadcrumbs that have been fried in butter, obviously. <laughs> More butter. Just for a little texture, you know? And we also have some crispy uh, parsley. Get that nice parsley flavor. It's beautiful. That's it, man. All right, time to test the pairing. Yeah, let's see how you did. All right, let's I'm gonna in. judge you, so. <laughs> I'm nervous now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> It's so great. The parsley really keeps it fresh. Like it's a dish that you would imagine could be kind of rich and heavy, but the parsley really, I think, gives it some freshness and some and some lift. It makes sure. it almost feel a little healthy. A little bit. You got your green veg, like you said earlier. Yeah, there's something green on there. Yeah, it must be good for you. It must be good for you, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even though it's fried, it's still, it's like very like moist and almost like melts in your mouth, you know? Agreed, yeah. This one, especially, like I said before, it's not its not too dense, it's not too rich. It's a pretty bright, fresh Chardonnay. So I think that is a component that can cut through because this dish has a little bit of fat in it. Just a little bit. Always established. But you know, you get that, that kind of fattiness that kind of coats your mouth and then that acid kind of helps to cut through it. 100%, it makes you want to go back for, for more on both. Yeah. You know, like you have a bite, you want to you want a drink, and then you have a drink and you want another bite. That's, like that's, a, that's always a good perfect. sign when you find not only a wine that, that complements the dish, but a dish that makes the wine even better. It's... Everyone wins. Yeah, it feels good. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks again, Chef. Yeah, pleasure. Cheers. As always. A little bit of sweetness on that, but it's really balanced out with like the with the dryness and the bitterness. You kind of you can really feel it for a, for a bit after you're, after tasting it. And the the sweetness that's there, it's like well placed. But there's a lot of flavor here, like very very flavorful. This is an, uh, the star of the show so far. I'm gonna give this beer an A. It's great. God, that's awesome. The beast.